Hello everyone. In continuation to our linear programming problem, we will understand now in this video, what do we mean by slack variable, surplus variable and artificial variables. Consider the following constraints. Constraints first. Uh, consider the following constraints. Let's say it is two times x one plus four times x two plus six times x3 less than or equal to 24. Then second constraint is three times x1 plus nine times x2 plus six times x3 less than or equal to 30. Uh, we may note that this come these two constraints are having three variables instead of two variables. Previously, whatever we saw, all the problems, whatever we did, it were, I mean, those constraints were having only two variables so we could able to convert that in in equation to an equation and then uh, we used graphical method to solve it but since now this is having three variables we cannot uh, we will not be able to use graphical method to solve it so we need to adopt a method called simplex method so to convert so, i mean in equations to equations, actually speaking, we need to add a variable means. So in this case, if I consider this particular constraint, either we can say 2x1 plus 4x2 plus 6x3 can be less than 24, or this can be when I am splitting this less than or equal to into two different things. One is it can be less than 24. Other one is it can be equal to 24. These are the two possibilities when you say less than or equal to. Either it can be lesser or it can be equal. Suppose if it is lesser, then I'm supposed to add some positive quantity to make it equal. Something which will make this to equality. Here, Already it is equal, but if I am, I don't know whether it is same or not because nothing is known. Means x1 is unknown, x2 is unknown, x3 is unknown. Since nothing is unknown, either this expression can be lesser or this expression can be equal. So in any case, either I will add a positive quantity in this case. Here, if I want to add something, I will only add a zero. Means in order to in order to make the above inequations having less than or equal to sign two equations, we will be adding, we will be adding a non-negative quantity, non-negative quantity to each of the constraint, each of the constraint, because both the constraints are having uh, less than or equality sign. In order to make this into equation, I will have to add uh, a non-negative quantity. Again, to convert this into equation, I need to add a non-negative quantity. So that non-negative quantity, we call it as slack variable. Those non-negative quantities, non-negative quantities are called slack variables. Slack variables. Uh, 
example, I may introduce say slack variable one, slack variable two in each of the above constraints. Means now the constraints will become the constraints will be what two times x1 plus four times x2 plus six times x3 this is the first one second one i will write three times x1 plus nine times x2 plus six times x3 for the first constraint i will be introducing a slack variable s1 since it is uh, s1 simply that means it is actually one times s1 in the second one i will introduce one times s2 since there is no s1 here i will put it as zero times s1 here i will put it as zero times s2 now i can equate it to, to those right hand side constants which is 24 and 30. now we may notice i can express this in form of a matrix also but before that if you look into the uh, coefficients of the slack variables here we may notice that it is having one zero zero one the coefficients are forming a identity matrix so we consider uh, the initial wherever you get this identity matrix those variables are considered to be basic variables so when we use simplex method the for the initial uh, table, where, wherever we use, I mean, uh, when we start using simplex method in the initial table, this S1 and S2 becomes the basic variables because it is forming an identity matrix over there, 1, 0, 0, 1. So that is about slack variables. Then we will understand now, what do we mean by surplus variable? Let me consider the following constraints. Same thing, two times x1, four times x2, six times x3, greater than or equal to 24. Same way, three times x1, nine times x2, six times x3, greater than or equal to 30. So what is the difference? Earlier it was having less than or equality sign. Now it is having greater than or equality. Suppose if it is so, then in order to convert this in equations to equations, I may have to subtract a non-negative quantity. So I'll say in order to convert the above in equations to equations, we will subtract non-negative quantities, non-negative unknown. So it is again a variable, non-negative quantities say, again, we'll use the same notation, S1 and S2. So what happens then? We will have two times x1, four times x2, six times x3, subtracting first non-negative quantity s1. So I'll say one times s1. Then in the second constraint, three x1, nine x2, six x3, uh, second non-negative quantity. Here there is no s2. I'll put zero times S2. Here there is no S1. I'll put zero times S1. Now I can equate it to 24 and 30. Here, these quantities, these non-negative quantities which are subtracted to convert an inequation, convert an inequation having 
greater than or equality symbol sign to equation or known as surplus variables so very similar only difference is slack variables are added surplus variables are subtracted so that is what is surplus variable now uh, again if you look into this particular uh, surplus variable constraints we may notice here it is not forming a identity matrix why because there is a negative one zero zero negative one it is not positive one it is negative one so let me call these let me call this let me give some numbers to this this one as one this one as two and uh, i'll call this one as three this one as four we may notice we may note that we may note that in third and fourth equations we do not have any basic variables we do not have any basic variables since an identity matrix is not formed what do i mean by that here it is negative 1 0 0 negative 1 not positive 1 0 0 positive 1 so it is not formed so just to just to how a basic variable a basic variable in each of them each of them a new variable a new variable called artificial variable new variable called artificial variable will be introduced will be introduced in each of such constraints each of such, such constraints with a yeah, positive with a positive unit coefficient with a positive unit coefficient so what will happen then say we'll call those artificial variables as a1 and a2 so the constraints or i will say the revised equations will be will be what let me write it it is 2x1 4x2 6x3 2x1 4x2 6x3 then we had one times negative one times s1 no s2 second constraint was having 3 9 6 3 9 6 so 3 times x1 9 times x2 6 times x3 there is no s1 in the second equation negative s2 here we will introduce plus 1 times a1 and for the second constraint we will introduce plus 1 times a2 so in the second one there is no a1 so 0 times a1 first one there is no a2 so i'll put 0 times a2 now we can equate it to that 24 and 30 see 24 and 30 we'll call these as fifth and sixth equations now we may notice this here you get that identity matrix in the artificial variables coefficient 
1001. That means when we start our simplex method, this will become the uh, basic variables. Which one? Artificial variables will become the initial basic variables to proceed with. Right? So that is what is about slack variables, surplus variables, and artificial variables. In case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like it, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.